Let me ask you a personal question. How right. is it that somebody who's into comedy writing, somebody who's into advanced physics, somebody who's into science fiction, came out with that strange combination? It had probably something to do with what happened when you were 15 years of age. How did it all come together? Well, I remember ages ago having a talk to somebody who was um, a, a, a researcher in an arcane field in physics, and we discovered that we thought we did that I as a comedy writer and he as a, as a research physicist did a very similar job because there's something that we both do which is sifting through all the sort of data, all the information, all the ideas, trying to find things that unexpectedly correlate from here to here, correspondences that that are completely unexpected. And this is certainly what you do in, in, in comedy writing. You're, you're trying to see things in, in by shifting some perspective, shifting some variable somewhere that suddenly makes two things that uh, were apparently completely unalike suddenly appear to be alike, uh, and appear to be alike because in some fundamental way they are. And it's, it's always those moments of, of sudden, rather startled recognition that give you particularly good moments in comedy. And you will see instantly how that obviously applies to scientific research. You're actually um, trying to find patterns, you're trying to find correspondences, things that connect with each other that you didn't expect to. Um, so I think it's not, not unnatural that a, um, a mind which has a bent to do one will also be fascinated by the other. So the serendipity of the scientist, right, the, the leaps yep. of logic, the fantastic right. leaps of logic that an Einstein or a Newton would have, are also the, the basic science that, that comedy writers approach I the craft. I think so, yes, yes. Well, yeah. certainly, certainly the way I, I approach comedy, um, that's true. I mean, obviously it's different for different people. Mm -hmm. um, but um, it's, I suppose, I mean, writing that kind of comedy has also allowed me to just to invent and speculate um, with an immense amount of freedom. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's something that I've always loved doing. And it's, it's, as I say, it's also the thing which is the natural resource of somebody who's a scientist, you know, the need to invent and speculate about ideas. Um, and you know, doing writing science fiction comedy is, is the ideal way of, of, of putting the two together.